Close your eyes and try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Develop the strengths of the mind. Because we live in a world where all too often we're dependent on things outside being a certain way. And when we do, we get weak. Because when suddenly they change, then we're left high and dry. But if you can develop some inner strength, some inner wealth, then change outside doesn't have to have such a big impact on the mind. Think about worldly wealth. It all depends on exchange rates and interest rates. The fact that there's peace in this country, peace in that country, a war in that country, and it keeps switching around. Everything is so interconnected. People sometimes celebrate interconnectedness as a good thing, but it's very precarious. It's very unstable. You look at the money in your wallet, it doesn't have your name on it. Even your credit card, even though it has your name on it, the big name on the credit card, of course, is the name of the bank or the credit card company. It's not really yours. And its value can go up and down dependent on things you have no control over. So try to develop some wealth inside, the wealth of conviction that your actions really do make a difference, the wealth of a sense of shame and compunction, in other words, being ashamed at the idea of doing something that's beneath you, and really caring about the results of your actions, the wealth of virtue, the wealth of learning, generosity, discernment. These things have a value that doesn't have to depend on things outside. They have a value in your mind. And that value is solid. So work on developing those. I mean, we need wealth, worldly wealth to some extent. But try to invest as much of your time as you can in developing inner wealth, wealth of the mind, wealth of the heart. Because that will see you through all kinds of difficulties, and it will strengthen you. When things outside change, you don't have to fall over, because you're not leaning on them. You're standing on your own two feet. <laughs>